Fight trim, he weighed in at an official 154 pounds. Tonight, atop the Ring City USA canvas, he puts out his undefeated record on the line, consisting of 14 victories. Seven of those victories coming by way of KO. Fighting out of Merke, Kazakhstan, Mania Ashkayev. Across the ring in the red corner, wearing white with baby blue trim, he weighed in at an identical 154 pounds. After an outstanding amateur career, culminating in representing the USA at the Rio 2016 Olympics, he now enters the ring an undefeated pro with 13 victories, 10 of those victories coming by way of KO. The self-proclaimed best kept secret in boxing from Cleveland, Ohio. Charles Bad News Conwell. Charles, right here. Charles, right here, facing me. Facing me, please. Up this way. Facing me. There you go. Maddie. Uh -huh. Maddie, right here. Okay, right here. Yeah, we're, we're, uh... All right, these are just, don't, listen, don't even bother. They're going to come up. These are a little bit higher, right on the line right here. I'm let it work. It's, you're going to come up, Coach. No big deal. Yeah. Come on. Come on, please. Come on. Come on. I give you both instructions. I just want to remind you, please listen and follow my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard. Fight clean. Good luck to both of you. This main event is being brought to you commercial free here, Ring City USA on NBCSN, under the stars in Hollywood, California. No hot pocket commercials. <laughs> I'm stuck on there right there, real quick. Matty RSKF, Charles Conwell. This is going to be a great yep. fight. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Let's see it. Jack Reese in charge of the action. We are scheduled for 10. Here's what I love about this main event. Both are being so much at stake for the future of their careers. But did you see the look in Charles Conwell's eyes? He's got a chip on his shoulder. He's open about it. He feels he should be more celebrated for what he's done in his amateur and early pro career. Tonight, he's got the opportunity to prove any remaining doubt is wrong. Yeah, he says, oh, I, I am boxing. Best kept secret. And I'm not going to argue with that. You know, he was, he was an Olympian. Most of the Olympians have got to this point. 13, 14, and 0. They've been seen a lot more than he has. I would tell him, win this fight and stay the course. Your time is coming. Charles Conwell in the white trunks. Let him out, Matty. Let him out, in the blue. Expect some very physical chess early on here in terms of uh, uh, jockeying for position. Maybe not throwing a ton, though, but I think once this fight does open up, it's probably going to stay there. Temperature continues to fall here. It is December, but you think in Hollywood, maybe a little warmer. 58 degrees, but 71 percent humidity is what you're really feeling, Sean. Again, we're feeling it. I don't expect these guys. If they're feeling it now, it won't take much longer before that adrenaline that takes over, that game plan takes over, the will to win takes over, and they won't feel they won't feel this breeze that we're feeling. I'm suffering. I'm suffering for them. Probably should have, there. should have rethought not wearing socks to the ringside. <laughs> there you go. Fashion's not comfortable, BC. Remember what I said. Uh, this guy is very methodical with his with his movement. He doesn't waste effect punches. He doesn't waste energy. A couple steps to the left or right, he's gonna be in the corner, but he's just gonna continue to move and, and turn. Just like that right there. He's got a heavy jab. I love his commitment to the body, but he stays responsible defensively, as does Charles Conwell. See that strength right there? He, he yeah. pumped him off. Strength. That's men's strength. He's 32. That's 32 against 23. That's what we're seeing. I was waiting for him to say strong like a bull. That's it. Are fighting up. Look at stop, that. stop, 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 stop. Oh, you saw Caldwell. He was ready to relax. Hey, listen, relax. let me say this because I was just reminded of it. When I was in the Olympic program, we were warned that those other countries, they fight, yeah. they fight strong. They fight what we consider over here to be dirty. And you see right there that that, that Askayev is just turning and pushing back and bumping. Uh, 
Multiple tri fighters trying to end this first round with a flurry as Conwell tracking down Ashkeyev to finish round number one. And Conwell has circles him. Very telling early on as you made a good point, Sean Porter, about Ashkeyev. Get in there is what we call an MMA dirty boxing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to call him a dirty fighter or anything right. like that. I, Kazakhstan, uh, all of those those European countries, they fight very physical. And a lot of us American young fighters, it takes us a while to start to kind of get into that type of professional boxing style. Not always going to be a clean break. Yep, not always going to be a clean break. You're going to get a guy turning you, hitting you with elbows, hitting you with forearms. Stop, stop, stop. Here. Punch. So each other up, turn around. This is me. Kamal is so comfortable fighting behind that yeah. high guard that it yeah. allows him to really enter into the strike zone, so to speak, and, and still res be responsible defensively by getting off his own shots. Yeah, and, uh, and he's, he's built up a tolerance to his body for handling yeah. whatever's coming after him. Well, guys, work at it. It's Charles, let him go. Maddie, pull your arm out. My stop, my so stop, 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 Watch the rest of This is the style Sean Porter likes to do yeah. in the ring. All right, come on. <laughs> Physical. And the gust of wind blows through the back lot here at the Wild Card Boxing Club. Temperature chilling. Look at this. This is what Sean Porter's been talking about. He's very physical. You're wrestling. Stop the wrestling. Relax. Box. <laughs> Jack's like, hey, relax. You guys are in a boxing match, not a wrestling match. But I forgot about this. I forgot that, you know, European fighters are very physical. They use their arms, their, their shoulders, uh, forearms, all of that. Right there, still going to the body is Conwell. You see, that's a part of his game plan in every fight, but specifically this one. Let me right get there, that body. Yeah. Yes. I think the best thing Conwell did in that last flurry was show that he, he won't be bullied in this fight. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to grapple with him, he'll hit you on the break. He'll stand up to you. Go. That leaky left elbow. Ashkayev, when they get into close quarters, Sean pointed out he'll kind of just push him off, but leave you with that almost as, as a bit of a weapon. Yeah, and, and, and I, I expected to at some point for uh, for Conwell to change the nature of the fight. You know, he's leaning in right now, hands up, and he's, and he's allowing Ashkayev to push him off right there. He was he's even pivoted, which opened up some punches. What I was going to say was eventually he's going to start to make some moves. Yeah. To open up some shots. Stop, stop, right there. Everybody knows. This is some oh, high level stuff at close range. It's getting manly in there. Yeah, I'm loving this. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the first two fights we had, they were close quarter fights, but you don't, you didn't see the, the, the strategy involved in, in the fight like you do in this fight. Well, the same commitment to the power shots, not just looking to land to stay busy. They're looking to end the fight with some of these shots right now. Wow. There's another push up. Sean, if you were advising Charles Conwell, would you tell him to get some distance and maybe attack at range? I would tell him to do exactly what he's doing. Okay. He's been physical right back, and he's, and he's throwing and starting to land. That's what he does. This is this is this is his game. Uh, and for Masaya, I'm telling him, you should jab. You got more skills than this. You should jab and keep this guy off. Of you. Time, time. I'm punching. Stop punching. Oh, I tell you, the bravest man the there was punch. Punch. Which coach punch was, punch was Jack another. Reese. He stood in the middle of that. I thought he was gonna get double tap. Come on, be panicking. Just go on the Don't let him push. Quit letting him push. We see him dig into the body. Charles Conwell. What this coach is talking about right here when he gets close. Back up and get some space and some distance. This guy's gonna grab you, he's gonna wrestle you, rough you up. Don't allow it, don't allow him to rough you up. And then here later in the round, what I really like was the was the uh the arsenal that that uh Charles came back with. Mm -hmm. Hooks to the body and then to the head, uppercuts to the body and then to the head. This is what you want out of unbeaten fighters. Nobody giving an inch right now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Maddie, number three. And we we knew that coming in. We knew that both guys they they aren't fighters who are willing to take any steps back. Oh, look at this adjustment. European style. Left hand is straight out front. Measuring you, trying to find the distance, the range in the distance. Conwell certainly has the speed to get on the inside. Look at the couple of combinations as Ashkayev decides to uh, force the head down. Watch that. Stop, 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 stop. Watch it. What did you get? You right? No blood, but no blood. Don't come in with your head. Conwell's corner might not want him to come in with his head like that, but he is suffocating uh, Ashkayev up to this point. Yeah.
box. Yeah, I heard that. That's one thing people don't know. When you when you fight, when you're a good inside fighter, not only are you able to hit the guy, but you're able to prevent him from using his oh, weapons. No, no, no. That's exactly what's happening right now. Three gloves. Three gloves. Three gloves. Make no mistake, should this fight get a little bit dirty, Jack Reeslow, we'll, we'll cut that out right away. He'll sniff that out, he'll remove that. He'll try to. He's been fighting, he's all game, though. Yeah, he's all game. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Great job by Conwell to force him into the full booth and make his opponent stay there. Of course. Conwell coming forward. Great defensive stance. Good right hand that snuck in there between the gloves. Not there, Lee. Again. Come on, let's go. Hey, Oh, oh. Being patient, waiting on the opening. It's Conwell. He's got a third dash oh, against Jackie Foot, nearly Brandon slipping needle. off the, uh, yeah, the ring right there. Hammer. And, and look, here's, here's that guy's game. His game is to turn the guy and put him on the ropes. But he doesn't know what to do against Con 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 Conwell because Conwell's defense is so tight, he doesn't know what the opening is. Oh, How do you score points on a guy that's covered up so well? I tell you what it's going to take for my guy if you got a time. Charles Conwell. When Charles, when Charles punches, that's when you're open. He's the That's when you're open. Tried the uppercut there. Couldn't get on the inside, and Conwell sees an opening. Gets off a flurry. All right, stop. My break. Step away from each other. You guys, stop it. Conwell gets into the corner. See what he can do here. Stop, stop, stop. Step back. Just let him go. Step away. Stop. That's it. We've seen a little bit of everything, guys. We've seen some great Rough boxing. Fight, yeah. We've seen some dirty boxing. We've seen some fighting. We've seen some yeah, throws. He's trying to quit. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to quit. Then when you got him on the ropes, you ain't posting. Posting and roughing. That's it. Finals to the chest. You ain't doing it. Come on, man. Get better with responding. I see something. Give me what I see, okay? Funnels to the chest, man. He's trying to quit. Get back to his body. Funnels to the chest. Squat down. And look for that big shot I'm talking about. He's been working on it. Huh? Your job. Continue trying to work up because after you go funnel to the chest, give it to the up. Got a third beat on the big shot. It's the rough stuff right here. Chris, or, uh, Charles Conwell going to the body. Look right here. He tried to escape, but even with the escaping, he can't get beyond. He, get, he can't get beyond uh, grabbing the other guy, and they fall to the canvas right there. Great body shot mm, by Charles Conwell. All right, let me ask you this, Sean. In the corner of Charles Conwell, he was talking about post him up. Oh, what's he referred to when he says post him up? Uh, I, I, I love everything I heard from Conwell's corner. And I'm not just saying that because he's from Cleveland. It's a post him up. Basically, when he's on the rope, do that right there. Touch him with your jab and open him up for something. Find the opening. Don't just lay there with him. And then the other thing he said, respond. Do what I'm telling you to do. Every coach wants a fighter that can get in the ring and make the adjustments that they're asking them to make. All right, let's find out what kind of adjustments Ashkeyev will make. For that, we check in with Karambatia. In Ashkeyev's corner, they want him to use the jab and circle around. They don't like seeing his back up against the ropes. They want him to be the aggressor. They want him to back stop, Conwell stop, now. Stop, stop, stop. Back to you guys. I mean, in, a, in an ideal world for Ashkayev, that'd be the plan, but yeah. he's really not using his jab or necessarily focusing on the body as much as the fight is going on, which is welcoming Conwell right into him. Yeah. I, know, I know one thing from being up against guys like Conwell. You get a guy walking up to you, arms are up, tight defense, and blasting Matty, off. Let him go, Matty. Work out of it. Your let confidence him go, isn't there. Well, you don't know what's, what's open. You don't know if you should throw, when you should throw. And I think that that's the biggest battle right now for Ashkayev is it's a mental battle for him. Well, 404 day layoff for yeah. Skyev, and uh, it's taking him a while to get comfortable. At this pace, he may never get comfortable unless he really starts to land something. It's very true. I, 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 I believe that fighters, after a, 
a host of rounds have gone by three or four rounds. What you've done in the first round, second round, that's more than likely what you're going to do uh, the entire fight. Meshkayev has had his success against undefeated fighters 3-0 and versus fellow unbeats, but he's run into a different kind of fighter in Charles Conwell because Conwell seems to have the complete defensive package and certainly the power to just punch his way out of any kind of problem. Yeah, right there, eating a couple of shots, but then eventually he's going to come right back. Don't hook with the hooker. is in, a, in for a big fight. On display tomorrow night. Back defending his middleweight title. Maybe hoping to eventually get back in the ring a third time with Canelo Alvarez, who fights the next night. Play. But you gotta work. right now, it's about Ashley and Conwell. Five. 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 Five.
Yeah. He chooses to fight on the inside. He's a very good inside fighter. Now's not the time to try anything new. However, you know, moving forward, you, you can't fight every fight like this is what I would tell Conway. Find out what else you can do against an elite fighter like this. And that's guys. Matty Escaya, originally from Kazakhstan, he's now moved himself and his family to Oxnard, California, just up the coast from Los Angeles. And as BC pointed out, on a 404-day layoff, and that's kind of the commonplace for so many fighters amidst the pandemic. And that is why Ring City USA has been such a heaven sent for so many fighters. And our, our thanks to Marie and Freddie for opening up the Wild Card Boxing Club for not one, not two, but three versions of Ring City USA to take place here at their establishment. Very good, very good. Yeah, this was good for boxing. Keep these young fighters going. Yes, I got it. Keep using the jab. There's the SKF jab, something we have not seen consistently, but when he can operate at this distance, it does work for him. So why lay in there like that? Why lay in there like that? One, two, three. Let me see. One, two, three. Yes, one, two, three, man. Uh-uh. Oh, uh -uh. That's Cleveland right there. Yes, sir. Oh, Pain of his own. Did you have double jab right here? Right. Mr. Brown? Then go. Stop. Now the parts work different too. Okay. Oh, everybody out. Let's go. Straight punches. Come on. Both guys starting to think. Yeah. I like that. They're thinking in the ring. If you're in the second half of the fight, think. What's going to work? What's going to lead me to victory? And for more on the action in the red corner, let's check in with Kern Bajia. Charles Conwell, of course, fighting out of the Soul City Boxing Club, trained by Otha Jones Jr. and Roshan Jones. Their advice to Conwell between rounds, they see some quit in Madiar Eshkayev. They said his body language doesn't look good, and they think Eshkayev wants to quit soon. In terms of tactical advice, they want Conwell to redirect his headshots. They think he's going for the forehead. They want him to aim for Madiar's chin. Back to you guys. Mm. Direction, directional punching. I love the little dance there, yeah. Conwell. You know, you're feeling it. You're in a rhythm when you can get out there and show a little uh, Antoine Walker a little uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Roll the shoulders a bit. I don't know if I've ever seen Antoine Walker. After he would hit a big three. Yeah. All right, all right. Pull your arm out, Charles. I'm no shot Maddie, forward, but if I'm Maddie, advising Maddie, Maddie or Ashkaya, I'm, I'm telling you, you Charles, gotta bring your hands you up. Off, I don't Charles, care how fast you think you are. You gotta get those hands up. And, and look at the confidence of, of Charles Conwell. Yeah. He knows that there's no fans out here, but hey, my buddy Sean Porter's right there, and I'm gonna show off for him. I, I love it. I love it. But you put your hands down like Maddie was there when he was doing those head bobs. Conwell will light you up like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Right there. Come on, Nico. Time, time, stop punching. Listen up, Maddie. Listen up. Not fans being here, so it's a little quieter. Fighters can hear everything, and uh, Charles Conwater is saying, what you want to do Please. as a fighter, when you can get into a rhythm, when you can get into... Look at this. He's looking over. This is unreal right here. This, <laughs> this is unreal. And look, look, look. It's still it's attentive to what his fighter wants to do. And he said, nah, nah, it ain't happening. BC, you know what he was really doing? He was looking over saying... What is Sean wearing tonight? That's a self-fulfilling prophecy as Charles Conwell gets set for round number seven here in Hollywood. Conwell, just 23 years old, as we mentioned, but he's had a lot of maturity this year during the quarantine. The birth of his first child, the daughter Cameron, on June 3rd. He says, that's made me train so much harder because I want to leave a legacy that would make her proud. Look, we've seen this before, Sean. For, for any uh, man or woman, you have that first child that can change everything in your life. It changes everything. It takes you to another level, emotionally, mentally, and it, and it adds to your game. It makes you want this more. So much power coming out of both hands. Again with the body shot. What we call that? We call that, uh, right there, right there. that barbecue in the ribs. Right there, right there. <laughs> barbecue in the ribs. Get them all basted up. Yeah. These are some healthy exchanges here. Big hooks from both guys at close range. I was going to say, you can sleep on this guy if he's still very much so in the fight. I don't think he's won very many rounds. 
but he's still very much so strong and, and able to pull his fight out. Oh, mercy, double, double hook to the body. Let's go. Yeah, he go. Coming up on 90 seconds to go here in round number seven. This one's scheduled for 10. I'm still so impressed by the way that Conwell never let any of the physicality get to him. He's proven to be the, the stronger man, the guy more willing to, to move his opponent around if needed here. And that's been a big change stop, knowing stop, the kind stop, of pressure stop, that Ash can put on. Yeah, big body shot there too before the tie-up. You can't do that. Turn back like that. You understand? You turned your back. You walked away. Thank you. Box. That's, not, that's not the Cleveland I know. The Cleveland I know is taking his head off right there. It's full dog yeah, mouth. Referee Jack Reese, uh, he saved this guy right there. You oh. turned your back in a fight. Not only could the referee have stopped it, but he could have let Charles Conwell take a free shot. It is protecting yourself at all times. If you're SK, you got to be uh, thankful that that went down that way. It's like 45 seconds, and I think he thought the round was over. <laughs> he's he's going to keep the fight fair. You know, It's not supposed to happen, but when it Please does, not, Charles, you, have, you have to hey, step go. in there as a ref. Matty, let him go, Matty. Matty, let him go. You got to let him go. Really foul stop, him. stop. You got to let him go when I say stop. Break. He, he's, he, he's broken. Our sky is broken. Stop. We're going to see some different things. I'm seeing the same sign. You starting to see it? He slowed down. That's number one. Mm. Big, big hook right there. Big hook. So now we find out the fight or flight. Stop. Is he going to come swinging yeah. or is he going to be done? Right. Exactly. Ready? Now stop. Turn around. Don't turn. Turn around again. Box. But he's broken. He's, he's turning right. around because he's mentally. It's the pressure. Not all the way there. Charles Conwell delivering, delivering early Christmas presents to Matty Arskaya. Now, we can finish it, all right? Now, when he's falling over, and he's falling over, you just step in front of the squat and shoot the up to the hook. Yes, sir. Don't let him off the hook. When he's stumbling around, anticipate a step. And step to him, boom, boom. If you go to the right, shoot the boom, boom. If you go to the left, shoot the hook and get up under there. Give me some money, son. Okay? That's you, brother. One thing you can't take to a fighter is anticipation. He's telling them to anticipate when he's going to fall around and, and make it happen. He knew better. I, I hate being here right now. Like, put, put a big screen up in front of me. I, I feel like I got more to do with this fight than I want to have. I'm just wondering if he was looking over. He said, what, would Sean, Porter, what would Sean Porter do right here? That's what he was thinking. What would Showtime do? <laughs> All right, gut check time here yeah. for Ishkayev. What do you have left in you? How bad do you want this right now? Let him go, Matty. Matty, let him go. That's the number one thing, and the, both of these guys are going to learn. You got to let go. Ishkayev's learning it right now. You have to stay poised under any situation until the fight's over. Big body shots, big, big body. time. Yep. Well, Skyev should be okay as far as cardio, guys. He's gone 10 rounds twice in his last four bouts, so this is not uncharted territory for him. Different ways to break down the fighter. You can break down the fighter physically. You can break down the fighter mentally. I think that's where he might be. Uh-huh. He's mentally and now being pressure broken up. Stop. Stop. Great. Let's go. We don't know what the future of Ash Skyev's career is going to bring. Winner, win or loss. But when you've never lost before, you don't know how to face adversity sometimes. You never know what you're going to get. That's why you love unbeaten fighters facing off with this much at stake. Yeah. Yeah, because at some point, he's going to pull something out. He's, he's going to realize that, hey, I'm losing this fight. I got to do it. He is definitely being dragged into the deep end of the pool, and Charles Conwell is no lifeguard. He is not coming to save him. Oof. Big overhand right. Swing and a miss. Stop. Break. Let each other go. Yes, sir. Turn around. Yes, sir. Pull this head down on that one. This is the round that Conwell's corner said this is where we finish him. And he's had opportunities. Can he get it done in this final 90? Oh. oh my goodness. What's the adjustment? Every time he's dipped down before that right there, he's gone to the body. And now he's dipping down. We're bringing it right up the middle, just like his coach asked. Conwell loves that right uppercut. It's been his finishing punch throughout his early career. 
Skyev's corner telling him if we don't see something different, we're going to stop the fight. That's real talk. That's yeah. his trainer, Ivan Castaneda, right yeah. there, putting it front and center. You bring it this round, or I'm going to take you out of yeah, here. Yeah, get to it. Don't wait. We want to drag him in deep water now. Oh, I think he's already dragged him in a deep water. <laughs> well, you're in the deep now. You're in the deep end now. Rounds nine, rounds ten. These are championship round. Do you think this is a situation where Ashkayev, who has the perfect record of 14-0, just hasn't faced a fighter at Conwell's level that is just so multifaceted in his attack? You know what? Early in the fight, we saw he tried to be physical. He right. wanted to show. Time out. Tried to bully him. Strong. Tried to bully him. Once that bully mentality, that bully style, no extra stuff. He, he went away from everything that he has. So I think the fight for him never really got started because he never got comfortable in doing what he likes to do. And now you see him trying to use a full, full counter, but it's too late in the fight. Rounds nine, rounds ten, you don't have the same type of speed and quickness that you had earlier on in the fight. Definitely doesn't have the steam in the punches that he had in round one, two, and three. Guess what? Charles Conwell's corner, they don't know what, what was told uh, to the fighter. Keep your foot on the gas pedal, and you may not get the knockout, but you may get the fighter to quit on the stool. This is why you, you stay consistent in whatever it is that you do well. Don't pull cool back. Again. Body language so far, at the very least, from SKF this round, is responding to the push from the corner, trying to set up that right hand with his jab. Hmm? Sean, you'll love this football analogy. If you're, Sean, if you're Charles Conwell's corner, do you go to that prevent defense. You, you do the cover two and drop back and just let Ashkev punch himself out and just stay clean. You don't. And, and, and I'll tell you why. You're not there yet. You're not at, at uh, world championship level uh, when, when every fight's a, a, a big major fight, big money, and, and you can afford to you know uh, coast your way to a victory. In those fights, the champion, you, you, you got to beat the champ. And right now, he's trying to get there. How do you get there? Punch this guy out. Stop this guy. I mean, let's be honest about the boxing political landscape. Conwell has been on the outside looking in at 154 pounds. He wants to attract the big names. He's got to look impressive. There's no, there's no backpedaling into a victory. In college football, they call that winning with style points. Yeah, I mean, uh, you've done everything that it takes to win this fight. Now, again, how do you finish this fight? I got a feeling he's going to finish strong. I got a feeling he's going to go for a knockout. Coach wants him to, that's for sure. Credit to Eskaya. He has certainly answered, but he is taking a beating here in the final 30 seconds of round number nine. Let him go, Matty. Let him go. Let him go. Nice tie-up. You can't stop. be mad at it. Right. Nice tie-up. Well, this thing has nice been responsible, up. Sean. The defense, the patience, never overextending from Conwell. Really just looking to stay in that pocket, but be smart. Good hook to the body. Very good. Hook to the body. See the arms drop immediately. Stop, 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 stop. As good a puncher as Conwell is, his body shots are go. amazing. Stop at the bell. Very good direction. Directional puncher. Hey, coach. No, you're not. We can't do it. Not today, Maria. No, 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 no. no. Not what's up, what's Maria, up? please. Maria, Coach, please. Look at me. Please, what's up, what's up? Yes, sir, we're done. No, what's up, what's up? Maria, Maria, no more. Please, okay. no more. I'm stopping it. We're done. We're done. No more. No more. Fight over. Fight over. We're done. I'm stopping it. Sorry. Maria Ashkayev wanted to continue. Sean, I'll ask you right off. Did they, did they make the right call? Yeah, they made the right call. I mean, your, your guy hasn't won a round, or, or if so, I gave him two rounds through the entire fight. 
Oh, so why you. send him out for more of the same? Exactly. Yep. You're, you're an undefeated fighter. Don't hurt your, don't hurt this this man's pride. Don't hurt his confidence. Get him out of there safely and come back strong. I don't know, Sean. I can argue that same point, though, and say because he's an undefeated fighter, because this was the you first the giant benefit. test, it is one more round. He's been competitive. Even if he's not winning the rounds, he's been in there. It's been close. But you got to know your fighter, and clearly his corner, the corner does I think the confidence was a major thing in this fight, and I don't think uh, I don't think Askaya ever got comfortable. He, I, I don't think he ever had any confidence that he could do anything to beat Conwell. Stop it now, and, and he doesn't get to fully realize that he couldn't do anything. And, and we don't know if his his strategy coming in, I because the could speak to that. If it was to come in and try to bully Conwell and see what he could get out of it, but that that plan went out the window after two rounds. Well, our own Steve Smuggler did give round nine to Askaya for for battle back there, so it is interesting to see. All right, let's take a look at some of the action that came from the aforementioned round nine that, according to Steve Smoger, went the way of the Kazakh fighter. Conwell well looking fresh after nope. nine rounds. Here we go. He plays right here. With a guy like uh, Askaya, you just got to find the opening. Right here, the hands are down. Really, there's really no, no, nothing you have to look for. Mario, please. Mario, go, please. Look at me. Yes, sir, we're done. No, Mario, Mario, no more. Okay. No more. I'm stopping it. We're done. We're done. No more. No more. Fight over. Fight over. We're done. And that was the official moment when they shut it down. So Matty Arashkayev goes now to 14-1 and one as Charles Conwell goes to 14-0. and oh For the official decision, we go to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jack Reese steps in and calls a halt to this contest at the end of the ninth and penultimate round, declaring the winner by way of knockout, still undefeated, Charles Matthews. 